back in now. You deposited now, child with grandma. Yes, grandma. But <laughs> we've got to get now. Oh, got to get petrol. Um, so so do would, I, you, would you rather go to Monmouth or Chepstow? I don't mind. It really doesn't worry me. Oh, so you know you've not been to Chepstow. You've been to Monmouth. I have been, I have been to Chepstow in my life. I fell in love with the girl who lived in Chepstow. Did you really? But she didn't fall in love with me. Damn. Well, it is all downhill to Monmouth, so let's go to Monmouth oh, and then if you're out, it'll be, we'll fine. be fine. I don't know what, what, what my God. battery situation is like. No, so I, I mean, I would love to, actually, actually, I would love to have made the perfect penis. I yeah. really would. But you know, you've seen how lovely my mum is. And She's I, so lovely. And I, I couldn't do it to her. Aww. I know, she would She would have been absolutely distraught beyond. She's so straight. She plays the church and all, church yes, organ. Yes, of course. I mean, because oh, I, I see her, really. when you talk to her, she seems like a very, well, I mean, she is a very open-minded, modern, you know, woman who, who's been a teacher and all those things, but. She was brought up she by very up by older parents yeah. who were very Victorian. And they, oh, 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 her parents. Yeah, were, her mum, right. her dad was right then. Sorry, I should say right then. Right then. Um, yeah, yeah, no, her, it doesn't help. <laughs> but I think it's only. I think actually, just hit me that way, <laughs> or drag me that way, and then I'll work it out. Because yeah, it'd be right. Oh, oh, Mr. oh thing. no, we can't. Can we? What can we do now? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. Is it, can we not sneak through? Is it completely oh, closed? Do you know what it gets a lot to come to a rope horse thing, isn't it? Have we, we done that though? We no, well, we've we, come we, down we, the little we lane there. Around the back there. We, I mean, I've been going round the town all morning. Because we went round up round the beacons and down that way, and yeah, then came into Trellick that way. I don't believe you. Go on in. Oh, oh, we can't. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> don't come through again. Well, I've never will. What's your job? What's your job? Well, the two of us yeah. used to do a show called Scrap Heap That's Challenge. Right. Yeah, go on. Yeah, you see. Still doing it? No, not now. No. You're from this area, you are. I'm not, no. I am. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks Thank very you. much. Take care. That's great. <laughs> it's against the law, and there you go. And there you go. So, wait, <laughs> here's the go. So, Three go and sneak through, and. Um, so, we, we'd want to go, go straight, straight on. Straight on, yeah, yeah. Well, they really are doing the whole town in one sort of map. Yeah, it's been mammoth. I mean, God. They've got to because they can't get. Now we've got Mrs. Thing housing. coming through here, and she doesn't. Uh, oh, she doesn't want to wait. Oh dear heavens! Well, if you let me go through yeah, that, thank are. you, madam. Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks very much. Oh, she's oh, that lovely smile. Oh, oh nice very sweet. Lady. Yes. I can't imagine what the perfect penis would be like. There's no such thing, is there? Because there actually, is one porn star that has an amazing one, a well, white porn star. He has but a, you see, but the, he probably isn't a nice person. But that's. <laughs> See, I mean, I do think, I really feel that, um, that the f first time that most adolescents see genitalia of uh, either gender is, is uh, important. And, um, yeah. you know, as a boy, comparing yourself to most of the men in porn, apart from oh, yeah. Jeremy, obviously, he was you know, not as sizable. You're going to go, oh my God, mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. Mine isn't that big. Yeah, oh yes, absolutely. You know. No, you're absolutely appalled. And the point is that the best sex I've ever had is not it was with somebody whose penis you would not in any way look at and go, that's yeah. a perfect penis. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's kind yeah. of what nobody ever says. No. You know, that's another thing about having kids. You don't have as much sex. Or indeed uh, any. Don't. Don't <laughs> don't start me down that long, lonely, oh. rocky road. But you see my oh. makeup lady, now I'm gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna mention her name, but of course some people who know a lot about Red Dwarf. Marvellous makeup lady, always on my makeup on her door, she's brilliant. <laughs> Demands sex from her husband at least three times a week. She wants sex, it's an important part of a relationship. And he is going, oh, I'm tired. You know, Maybe oh, I should be a bit more man, demanding. A Maybe lucky man. Something. This is. She's had two children, they've got two kids. Oh. She's from the north. And I've always wondered, I should, maybe should have married a northerner. And you married somebody who well, married a northerner. more southerner. I, I married a northerner, if you live in Sydney. <laughs> She's from Brisbane. That's up north. That whole kind of, you know, trying for a baby thing never happened on either. I know exactly when both my children were conceived. Wow. My, um, my GP said to me the other day, your fertility scares me. Right. And I said, well, I'll take that as a compliment. I'm not yeah. sure it is one. I, I, I absolutely took a leaf out of Judy's book for my second one. Right. You know, okay, admittedly I put some sexy underwear on, but then did the um, you're not leaving trick, right. which yes. uh, was, you told me that Judy, oh, yeah. Judy did with you, and I thought that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, so, so I did, and hey presto, little Mirabelle. Oh, girl. but Mirabelle is gorgeous. She oh. is a very, very easy to love bubba. She is, She's she so is good. adorable. Well, it is that thing, I think, you know, some other, you know, I've seen mates with babies now, and you go, and I love babies, and I always want to give them a cuddle. And then some of them just do not want some weird old bloke picking them up. 
absolutely freak out. She was fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely lovely straight away. Shoved her fingers in my mouth. <laughs> what more could you want? Gave me a big prod. <laughs> Dri- dribbly fingers a in your really mouth. A really soggy, dribbly finger. <laughs> straight from her gob into mine. Lovely. What more can an old uncle ask for? Oh, she's such a tart. Old. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. <laughs> God, Florence is so bad already. She loves little blonde boys. Well. If a little cousin was going to go like that to give a kiss, she was like that. Mm. You're kidding, really, isn't that yeah, amazing? It is. I mean, that is amazing with for me with girls. I'm sure it's very similar for women with sons. But I learned so much about women from having a daughter, a little a little daughter. I mean, less so now because now she's more kind of like a young woman. Yeah. Very young woman, but she's still that you know. So it's less obvious. But when she was a, to see a little girl flirt with men look at men wonder what they look do the hair thing when she could barely stand she was doing that I was absolutely staggered yeah it's got to be it's got to be there in the genes isn't it it's all I can't I can't believe that's learned behavior okay you're all right all right, left. It, no, we're in. We're still in Welsh Wales, aren't we? We are in Welsh Wales still. Am I all right? You're right. Go on. You're right. Go on. Go on. <laughs> what it is, see, right? <laughs> what it is. I do. I do a phone in on Radio Wales occasionally. Oh, brilliant. Which is um, which is hilarious. I absolutely love it. And my problem really is keeping a straight face. <laughs> what what it is, right? What what it is, see, is I got badgers, right? <laughs> I, I like the badgers, but the missus doesn't like them, see? Oh, wait a minute, he's got badgers as pets. No, he's got a badgers in the garden, right. right? So, she thinks they encourage the moles, see, right? But my mate reckons that if you stick a speaker down the mole hole, you get rid of the moles. <laughs> uh, I've never done buying petrol on carpool before. God, we're doing lots of firsts. No, it's all first. Baby in the back, buying petrol because we've got one doobie left on the fuel. I don't know what happens. I've never got that low before. Downhill. Is that, well, I don't know. We haven't used any. But I mean, my mileage today has been appalling because I'm thrashing the hell out of it. Trying to go. I'm not going to say how fast I went along the road because there might be a policeman watching. It wasn't above the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> but hybrid cars can go quite fast. This is great. I can't imagine what this would be like for sound. <laughs> well, it's a brutal cover. I've just remembered I haven't taken the aerial off the roof. Hi, oh, hi. Oh, shit. It's bendy. God, it's the noisiest car wash I think I've ever been in. Lisa has just answered all the questions that were sent on Twitter. Because well, you can tell you what, what's your Twitter thing, if all you want people to follow you on Twitter. Yeah, sadly, having two children, it's really hard to actually Twitter more yeah. than about but once you, a day. Twitter.com. Oh, it's quite Ro- complicated, isn't it? Rogers, Rogers, Rogers McGarry. Rogers Magaza. Rogers Magaza. Roger Magaza. Rogers Magaza. Even I can't say it. It's because my I'll children. Put, I'll my put a link on Twitter on my Twitter. I've yeah. done, I've done it once. Have you? Yeah. yeah. No, my partners and my children's surname is McGarry. Hence McGaza. Right. Because um, there was a Lisa Rogers already, so I think, I think anyway. Oh. God, I can't remember. Um, obviously, the team I like best on Scrappy had to be Cycles Maximus. Or Maximus, I think they were, because um, the captain of Maximus ended up fathering my children. <laughs> Which means that you've had some intimacy with him at some point, one assume. Well, only twice. Uh, I've got to give Maya the plug for oh, yeah. the cog necklace. The cog necklace. She was head of costume. A terribly attractive lady. Gorgeous. Very camera shy. Very camera shy. Very few pictures of Maya exist. (laughs) Where do I go? Sorry, where do I go? It's going to take me to Waitrose to get some groceries. I need to go to Waitrose. I should go to Waitrose. I think we should. (laughs) Let's go to Waitrose, okay. I think this man just parked here. He lives there. He's got his sheep in the back with her. (laughs) What it is, right? I stopped to get some petrol and the sheep got out. Oh, he's looking looking at the map. So go straight on there. Straight on there. Yeah, so Maya, Maya Joint, very beautiful. She made the necklace. Actually, if you Google Maya Joint, you'll probably find her website and then she'll make you a necklace if you yeah. want one. Um, the beards, did the beards get too much on scrap? I loved wearing facial hair. Um, and going the right hand Because that's interesting because I read that as like all the men with beards and facial hair that appeared on Scrappy, but I think they're right. I think they're referring to you when you donned facial hair. Yeah. Because I, that how I, that's how I originally thought it was the same as you. Yeah. But I'm thinking, yeah, because I did no. wear quite a lot you of facial quite hair. Quite a lot of facial hair work. And it looked very good on you. You did look. I mean, that was. Uh, do you remember that day when you know when I th- th- there was a period? I think one episode, one series where I blew it completely because I said I referred to some famous actress that I fancied, but then I realised she was too short to fancy. 
That was the um, that was Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Robert Williams saying that Natalie Portman is That's too, it. Short, too to fancy. short to fancy. Now I don't know that there's many men in the world that would agree with on that one, <laughs> but clearly saying it about me, you know, saying in front of me who is only five feet tall. <laughs> Not the most diplomatic thing I could have said. But, you know, then I the other one was when you put on, you donned a, some sideburns. Very large chops. Very they? large hairy sideburns. I suddenly thought, God, she's sexy that woman. I fancy her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really fancy me with the chops. Yeah, I just needed you to have a lot of disturbing <laughs> facial hair, and then I was all over you like a cheap suit. The weird thing is, I looked in the mirror and thought the hair looked quite good on me. <laughs> I, t I liked it, you know. What a lovely. A little sort of high street. Is this Monmouth High Street? If this is Monmouth High Street. Yeah, I hated it as a child being brought yes, up here. Yes, of course. Couldn't would bear have to. it, yeah. And you'd have to come shopping here with your mum, oh, and then you'd meet yeah. Mrs. Thing, and you'd have to stand and wait while yes. your mum talked to Mrs. And of course, being a teacher, everybody knew oh, my mother. God, they so, all knew her. Yeah. Oh. There's the little, little boy school boys. Yeah. Oh, are they? Is that oh, where they're from? Yes, God. Well, they all Because there's three, um, not many of them were, and no. I didn't go out with many boy school boys. <laughs> What's it like working with one Robert Llewellyn? <laughs> Darling, you know, he gives it the I'm so lovely thing. <laughs> fucking hell. It's all take, take, take. Always first in the lunch queue. <laughs> Demanding massages from makeup department. We didn't even have a makeup department. No, makeup no. department was me. Think, yes. <laughs> can you get me her phone number? Oh, maybe later. Uh, can I, te I think she's I think she's de sexy dead. Sexy? Yeah, I don't think they dead meant sexy. You're dead sexy. Oh yeah. right, right. Do you think uh, somebody thinks? I think that was a man that sent that one. Uh, Just tell her. I think she's dead sexy. That's very nice. uh, and you don't know about that Lisa would like to fess up. Oh, I don't know much. I'm just a good black. I think that's you and I are quite good blaggers. You you know more than me. But I think I think the thing with Scrappy was that because um, I was brought up on a farm, I was around people doing work on engines all the time, and yeah. so you kind of pick bits up. But you learn. I did. You, oh, I you learn. Learned, you yeah. learn so much. From yeah. 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 Now I can look at machines now much more than I could before. Like a piece of machinery. I don't. I don't know. Is the light stain? No, they're still red. But when, when oh, they go green, should we turn left? Yes. I mean, you can, you can yes, go while they're red that. if you like. Should we see what the policeman said about yeah, like, jumping red that. lights? Yeah, Lisa <laughs> said go now, and the red light was red, so I went. Was that wrong? <laughs> I wasn't holding the steering wheel at the time. <laughs> and Lisa was punching me and on she was punching me, the left-hand side very, of the head. To make me turn the right way. <laughs> <laughs> what was the coldest, wettest, wettest oh, you got on Scrappy? That's hard to pick that out, because, I mean, there was so much. S yeah. Series 6? No. Series 7? I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to pick Hang up. On. I can't Five, this six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Series six, I think. The first the first filming day of series six, there was snow. Oh god. And during I, a build day, was that? During a build day. Oh, and I didn't have a proper winter coat on. I had like a costume oh, coat. Yeah, yeah. And that day was was it kind of oh, and I, I was particularly thin that year for some reason. I don't know why, I just you know. I think I didn't I was going out with a rock star, didn't eat right, much. Yeah. That was my old school. So this is where you went to school. Oh, this is lovely. School. Oh fantastic. Um, but your mum didn't teach there, did no, she? No, no, she didn't. She was an infant school teacher. So that this is the, uh, what's this called, Mama's School for Girls? This is, is Mama's School for Girls. Mama's School for Girls. Yeah. Yeah. Serve, it, and, it's got serve and Obey was the, which wow. I always think is a quite unfortunate. Serve and Obey. Unfortunate That's motto right. for yeah. a girls' school. I mean, it was boys' school motto too, because it's right. Amadasha's motto, but... No. Serve and obey. That's I mean, not that's fairly uh, sacrificial, isn't it? I don't think I'll be uh, trying to get. Do my you think children many, of the, the, many of the many of the girls from Monmouth Girls School grow up and, and they, that's what they think of when they get married? I must serve and obey my husband. Maybe that's why I refused ever to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? I once had an affair with a boy who lived in this house. <gasps> wow. And this his name his name was Matthew Sanford. In this house here? Yeah, on the left hand wow. side of this house here. He was beautiful. He looked like Matt Dillon. Wow. He was a really unbelievably good looking boy with an enormous penis. Actually. Wow. Mm. There we go. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so what is Bobby's worst habit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. Starting just before a take. You did, but you managed Actually, to spot the thought really well, and do, you always direct your bottom kind of I did, away. I was trying to be discreet about it because it was very embarrassing, particularly if we'd had something that made me a bit windy at lunch. And that Excuse was me. most of what we ate, most wasn't it? What? <laughs> I, I think probably there should be a world record for how many times you can include the word fuck in, or some derivative of fuck in yeah. a sentence and still well, make, make well, sense. I don't, want to, I don't want to recreate it because although we get the explicit tag on um, iTunes, I don't want it to be too rude, but. Uh, but Hadrian did manage to make a whole sentence that made sense only using the C word. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew exactly what he meant, that was the thing. Basically a team member had blown up an engine on a, on a machine. And he, 
with, with just using the C word. <laughs> Did many Scrappy Challenge viewers watch her quest on Channel 4 documentary, The Plast Cost? Yes. I don't know. I don't know how it's many. A, it's a kind of it's a wide spectrum, that is, isn't it? An yeah. interesting scrap heap challenge and, and an interesting casting fannies. Yes. I don't know. I just don't know. Is the answer to that? Yes, sir. You're I'm very, very, very far very over large. the white line there. Yeah. I mean, I think the thing is that I thought it was brilliantly made that because all the way through it, I watched that and I was absolutely riveted and fascinated, and I thought, oh my God, this is. Oh my God, this is really. Oh my God, yeah. It was plenty of those yeah. moments, and I went. And then when it when you said and you were going to have yours cast. I, I almost turned over because I thought, well, I know Lisa, I don't, Want to see it her doesn't it? seem right. You know, it, I felt rude. Or suddenly there was loads of other fannies all over the wall. I mean, they were, they were coming out of the trees, <laughs> which I didn't have any problem with at all. But then when it was yours, it was like, you know, sort of like sister. Yeah, I felt yeah. brotherly towards you and I went, oh dear. I think <laughs> the problem is that the difference between seeing my fanny and seeing another woman's fanny yeah, is, that, is that it's because people know who I am. Yeah. It it does, it's it does not just a picture of fanny, it's my, it's my yeah, fanny. Whereas yeah. The other girls, you know, yeah. weren't kind of off the telly, and so yeah. you could you could do that. And also, if, there, if you had a, a wall with 400 fanny plaster casts on it, and yours was one of them, it wouldn't be a problem. I mean, and I didn't, and it didn't say yeah. this one's Lisa's. <laughs> but you know what? I couldn't pick mine out. No, well, I'm sure. No, I bet. That's that's I mean, a slightly worrying thing. If you put 400 up, I'd be like, mm. I could probably narrow it down to about 10, but I couldn't yes. say for sure which no, mine was. No, that's true. Yeah, I bet. No. <laughs> which is probably our bad thing. Well, they're probably most men could with their. Why well, one? And I was just about to say that, of course, you know, because yes. being a boy, you then immediately think one of yourself and two of your penis. Those are the two most important <laughs> things in a, in a mature man's life. So I take a left, a right here. I'd go left, actually. I'll go left. Go left. Yes. And go back unless you particularly want to go to Waitrose. No, not now. No. I can't, I can't do. You can do a watch and I mustn't do it. Being Welsh, I can't possibly do it. Your Paul keeps going. Can you teach me to do the accent? And he just sends it sound like he's trying to order a kind of an Indian, yeah. a really patronising Indian accent. Oh, you're basically, you know, when people go, oh, you Robert, you're so eco because I traded in a silly sports car for a one that uses slightly less petrol and is has, is very questionable. That's eco. Your hubby. Well, the both of you are. You know, amazing. But he is, you know, He's in terms of technology and ec ecology, mm. what does he do? He builds bicycles that have ele you know electric bikes and all that. Is he still? I mean, he is still doing yeah. working for them, isn't mm. he? But you really chose the right one. I do think we we're all, all your friends felt. Thank God it's him, even though he's got the dreadlocks, which he doesn't have anymore. <laughs> yes, my mother. My mother loved the dreadlocks. Oh, did she? Did she? <laughs> I must have told the story that I, I told my dad that he had dreadlocks, thinking that my father would tell my mother. Stupid, stupid mistake. Oh, right, you didn't say anything. Well, like my dad gives a monkey's yeah, no, his he hair's like, care, you know, he? my no. dad is so laid back. So my mum doesn't know that the new boyfriend has dreadlocks and opens opens the passage door to see this sort of man standing there with dreadlocks and, and goes, <laughs> and sees me standing behind him, realises he's this bit, and goes, oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry, I didn't, didn't expect to see a man with dreadnoughts coming up my passage. <laughs> Dreadnoughts. Is that what you call them? Dreadnoughts. <laughs> Your mum is classic. I, I think we should do the the, the behind-the-scenes scrappy anecdote of when your mum and dad came to visit the set. When, that was in, we were in Wales actually mm. filming, weren't we? Yeah. And uh, what did you eat? I don't know, a nut or something? I don't no, know No, I was. was drinking water and you made me laugh because you oh. kept saying fuck in front of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> and completely unconsciously as well. No, no, you were doing, so bad. doing it deliberately, but you made, it was in a very, very comedy way. And so my mum wasn't offended, she just could see how funny it was, right. you know. And because um, I was sort of slightly shocked and slightly, and, and it was very funny, I kind of kept breathing in while I was drinking water, which resulted in me virtually choking to death. Which is great, wasn't it? And your mum, <laughs> your mum and I panicked and were in a complete state. And we were actually holding you upside down. I was yeah. holding you upside down. Kind of patting my back. Well, whose idea was that? No, me, because I kept because I realised the only way I, the only way it was going to come out was by. Coming. So you'd actually inhaled water. Yeah. So I was sort of standing on my head, putting my feet in the air, that's and you right. kind of realised that's what I was wanting so I, me to do. Yeah, but what was great was your dad. He was just fantastic. Completely and utterly ignored the whole thing. <laughs> yes. But standing right next to you, his yeah. own daughter, his own flesh and blood, choking to death. Oh, she'd be alright in a minute. Let her calm down. I've seen that happen with the old Jews. There, yes, I... it, was. it was like he was looking at a sheep. <laughs> he was going to give you a kick just to get you to get, get, get up and run across the field. Brilliant. And your mum was in a total state. Yeah. Completely freaking out. Yes. What a great parenting. Well, a great parenting skill, really, because you don't want either parent not to care and not to take any notice, or you don't want both parents to freak out and be over dramatic. Yeah, you need one. You need being a good calm. balance. Yeah. And that's what you had there. So, which is why how they turned out such a wonderful daughter. Very kind. 
My mother, see, my mother just says to me whenever I kind of go, oh, Paul, he's so late. So take this left here. Yeah, so late. He went, la, la, la. My mother just goes, I have no sympathy for you. You've chosen someone exactly like your father, and he will drive you wow. mad. Wow. So she's totally unsympathetic. Wow. But then do you think that do you think that means Holly will end up with somebody who's just like you? Oh god, wouldn't that be awful, poor woman? I hope not. <sighs> oh. Uh, all those things that or, or that Louis ha ends up with someone like his mum. You know, much as I love her, she's barking mad. You know, if he's gay, if he, you know, she's not easy. Or he might or they might either of them might be gay and then end up with somebody. He could be gay. Yes. He could I be gay. Know. I don't know, I can't tell yet. I don't know. I mean Louis certainly thinks everyone else in the world is gay, especially his dad. It's got a point. Yeah. I mean, within two, well, 30 seconds of Florence being born, Paul just said, I, I hope she's a lesbian. He hoped she was? Yes. Because that kind of, I just don't want her to go near boys because right, they're see. horrid and my perfect little baby kind of Right, thing. yeah. Oh, that's no. beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. That, just the steepness. Yeah. Because I live in a hilly part, but it's not like that. We don't have hills like that. That's proper hill. That that's is. proper. And then that is, that is why I bought the house I bought. Because yeah. You look out and you can see, you know, because it starts well by Welsh Mountains, you can yeah. see the sugar loaf and all the... Yes. Oh, it's bloody lovely. I mean, the house itself is a shitter, but, you know, <laughs> the view's I, think I love your house. Is that... Yeah. Shall I going, park in here? Yeah. Isn't that bloody clever, isn't it? I mean, go, I've never been across a bridge to go to a pub. Well, I suppose I have. <laughs> I lived in North London. And I went to a pub in South London. Effectively, I went across the bridge to go to a pub. Funny that. <laughs> there yeah. we go. We're going to have a bit of lunch now. Uh, uh, carpoolers, we'll catch you later. Yeah. What's amazing is that you can you can start you know that you can make a, a crack at a really good business now with little more than yeah. your evenings and a credit card. Yeah, I was caught wanking by my mother. Once. Oh yeah, but that was Have horrible. Yeah, that is a that is, now there is an oh, interesting thing. Yeah, that I did on her bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much of this I'm actually going to put in carpool? <laughs> It's <laughs> Go on, be brave. I think I should put it all in. But it'd be brave. Just call it the wanking episode.